On the 6th of May, 2010, a day marked by the UK general election, the global financial landscape was shaken by a sequence of events that would be forever etched in history as the flash crash. While the citizens of the United Kingdom were casting votes and the world's attention was divided, a storm was brewing on Wall Street, one far beyond what anyone could have predicted. As the trading day commenced, a sense of unease was palpable. The euro was weakening against the dollar and yen, which is a normal sign of the turmoil in the markets. However, no one could have foreseen the dramatic tumble that was about to unfold. In mere minutes, the Dow Jones Index plummeted to nearly a thousand-point plunge that left traders and investors stunned. Stocks from major companies like Exelon, Accenture, and Centerpoint Energy experienced a brief period where their stock prices plummeted to just one cent per share. Corporations like Procter & Gamble and General Electric also saw their share prices slashed, and the financial devastation was swift and merciless. In a matter of moments, the market regained its footing and eventually ended the day 3% lower. But the speed at which these events unfolded was unprecedented. The question on everyone's lips was, what the hell just happened? Amidst the chaos, theories abounded regarding the cause of this financial upheaval. Some speculated it was due to a mistaken trade, while some believed it was a cyber attack. By the end of September, a report from the U.S. regulators pinpointed a $4.1 billion sell order initiated by a U.S. mutual fund. At 2.32 p.m. on that day, the mutual fund set off a cascade of events, utilizing an automated algorithmic trading strategy to sell e-mini contracts. Some trades occurred at astonishingly irrational prices, ranging from a mere penny to an astounding $100,000, before the market eventually settled. The astonishing part of this crash was that there was another player, one relatively unknown UK Indian trader, Navinder Singh Sareo, the Hound of Hounslow, who will forever be remembered as the individual who outsmarted Wall Street from the confines of his parents' home. Navinder started as a trader in 2002. Diagnosed with Asperger's, he struggled with social awkwardness and was susceptible to manipulation. On the positive side, Individuals with Asperger's can exhibit exceptional focus, channeling their energy into mastering a specific subject. Navinder Sarao later worked at Futex from 2003 until early 2008. It wasn't until 2008, upon departing from Futex, that he began amassing substantial wealth. By the end of June 2009, documents from his company, Nav Sarao Futures Limited, revealed assets worth 14.9 million pounds. But this was merely the genesis. Collaborating with a programmer, he designed a trading program equipped with a market manipulation cheat code. This software employed a strategy called spoofing, whereby numerous limit orders were placed to artificially influence supply or demand. These orders were swiftly cancelled once the price approached them, and counter trades were executed. This approach proved lucrative, allowing for sales at higher prices and purchases at lower prices than the norm. Between 2009 and 2014, it is estimated that NAV amassed around $70 million through spoofing. Navinder Sarao's activities confirm that market manipulation tactics are real and that individuals who understand and master these concepts can indeed exploit market vulnerabilities for financial gain. This is the idea behind the smart money concept trading strategy. The theory of smart money traders is one of strategic insight and calculated moves in the financial markets. Smart money concepts trading strategies can be best described as a form of price action trading under a distinct label. It involves applying fundamental forex principles, such as supply and demand analysis price patterns, and identifying support and resistance levels for trading purposes. However, all these concepts are given alternative names and presented uniquely. What really is the smart money concept? The most straightforward answer to what smart money concepts trading is, is to view it as an alternative term for price action trading. The idea behind the concept is that institutional traders, large investors, or smart money, leave behind footprints on price charts 
that indicate their trading activity and that retail traders can use analysis to make more informed trading decisions. However, everything is presented with new terminology and a distinct explanation. Smart money concepts traders use terms like liquidity grabs, mitigation blocks, change of character, a break of structure, and more. While these terms might sound unfamiliar, upon closer examination, it becomes evident that smart money concepts employs a more conventional trading approach than it initially seems. The smart money concepts theory is not solely a forex trading strategy. It encompasses an entire philosophy about market dynamics. Smart money concepts asserts that entities like market makers, banks, hedge funds, etc., engage in manipulative actions and actively create challenges for retail traders. According to Smart Money Concepts, as a retail trader, your strategy should be built upon understanding the actions of this smart money, which refers to the capital controlled by market makers. In practice, the Smart Money Concept suggests that traders should attempt to mirror their trading approach after the strategies employed by these market makers, just like Navender Sareo did in 2010. However, it must be stated that Navender got into trouble with the authorities for his actions. The Smart Retail Money Model To gain insights into the trading strategies of major banks and hedge funds, a valuable approach is to monitor patterns of insider buying and selling activities. Monitoring the trading patterns of company insiders, such as executives and board members, is a common strategy to identify smart money movements. When insiders purchase shares of their own company, it's often seen as a positive signal that they have confidence in the company's prospects. Conversely, when insiders sell shares, it might signal they have concerns about the company's future performance. For instance, if the CEO of a technology company purchases a significant amount of company stock just before a major product launch, it could indicate their belief in the success of the launch and potentially influence other investors' decisions. You might wonder, how do I get access to such information? This is where I feel the smart money concept comes into play, as it tells you the story of a financial asset using the chart. Your goal is to understand how to read it. In this smart money concept trading strategy series, we will take an in-depth look at the smart money concepts advantages and disadvantages, trading strategy, and answer the most important question. Should you trade using SMC? This will equip you with the necessary insights to make informed decisions about integrating this approach into your trading toolkit or not. Pros of Smart Money Concept 1. Focus on Institutional Activity Smart Money Concept emphasizes the role of institutional traders and smart money in the market. Understanding their actions can provide valuable insights into market dynamics. 2. Emphasis on market sentiment. It pays attention to shifts in market sentiment, which can be crucial for making informed trading decisions. 3. Clear trading signals. It provides traders with specific concepts and terminology, such as order blocks and change of character, which can serve as clear trading signals when properly identified. Four risk management. The concept often involves placing stop-loss orders near key levels, which can help traders manage risk effectively. 5. Technical Analysis Integration Smart Money Concept can be integrated with other technical analysis tools, such as support and resistance levels, trend lines, and candlestick patterns to strengthen trading strategies. Cons of Smart Money Concept 1. Subjective Interpretation Identifying order blocks, changes of character, or other smart money-related concepts can be subjective and open to interpretation, which can lead to potential differences in analysis among traders. 2. Complexity Some traders find the terminology and concepts to be complex and challenging to grasp, especially for beginners. 3. No guarantee of success While smart money concept provides a framework for analysis, it does not guarantee successful trades. Market conditions can be unpredictable, and not all signals will lead to profitable outcomes. 4. Overemphasis on shorter timeframes. 
SMC often focuses on shorter timeframes, which may lead to a higher frequency of trading, but can also result in more noise and less reliable signals. 5. Risk of overtrading. The emphasis on identifying frequent order blocks and changes of character may lead some traders to overtrade, which can result in increased transaction costs and higher risk. In summary, smart money concept trading strategy can be a valuable addition to a trader's toolkit, providing insights into market sentiment and institutional activity. However, like any trading approach, it has its limitations and should be used alongside other analysis methods and risk management techniques. Traders should carefully consider the pros and cons and adapt smart money concepts to their own trading style and risk tolerance. Additionally, continuous education and practice are essential for mastering any trading strategy. This video is the first installment of a three-part series on the smart money concept trading strategy. In the next video, we will talk about the smart money concept terminologies, how to identify SMC order blocks, break of structure, change of character on the price chart, and much more. If you found this video educative and useful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications to stay updated on future videos like the upcoming parts. Thank you for watching.